This summer we have an incredible hatch going on. It's super predictable. You can even find it in the news. It's called the cicada. That chirping summer sound is coming big this summer. Um, this summer we have something called brood, brood X. So big brood has some maps. In fact, this like little tying session we're gonna do is a companion to an article. I'll have a link on that down below. So let me show you this fly real quick. It is really easy to tie. I like when I try to get, so um, just some foam, some legs, and some deer hair that is dyed. Um, really fast to tie. You can vary the colors of this up. I use the same fly uh, in summers here in Michigan for our cicada, not this periodic fly that's coming um, that has a lot of this orange, mostly uh, greens. So let's jump into uh, some close-ups here in a second, but let's go through some quick ingredients. Some foam, cut it about three-eighths of an inch wide. Just craft foam, that thin stuff, it's gotta be maybe eighth of an inch craft foam. Um, some orange tinsel. This is like a, a rubbery tinsel. Um, I've been trying it out, I forget the brand. Uh, uh, deer hair, uh, dyed uh, variegated orange and black. Um, some ch chenille, black thread, this is uh, 140. Um, just some lighter, some rubber, rubber legs. Uh, yo, streamer hooks, uh, size six, size eight streamer hooks. These flies um, are naturally about an inch-ish long, a little bit more than an inch. Wingspan can spread it out to almost three inches wide wingspan. So let me reposition stuff. Um, I'm super excited, I got, I mean literally, I, heck I'll show you. Um, I got some drywall and other stuff on the floor right over here. This is going to be the next studio once I get it all this all put together. So let's reposition the camera. All right, so start with the uh, size 8 streamer hook. It's a must add. Um, most any ho streamer hook is going to work. Just, it's long enough for that body. So there's no real critical measurements on the foam as we get to it. So start out, grab our, I got all my stuff on the other side of the table, folks, sorry. Um, good uh, black thread base starts this guy out. So I add chenille to this to uh, add some thickness to the body and give that foam something to grab around. So uh, next that goes in is our uh, floss. So this is like a, almost like a rubber band kind of material. Um, so it actually stretches but it will work great for what we're gonna do. Adds a lot of little flash, and I use it for some body separation. Adds a little bit of orange to the bottom of the fly. All right, under here, we're gonna put our chenille. Again, this is a nice, fast fly to tie. So tie that in. I take the hook or the thread forward to about, I guess we'd call that like three eye links. Now you'll notice here really close to the eye, I didn't wrap all the way to the very eye. We'll, we'll clean that up at the end. And so I put our chenille 
wrap this real quick. Again, what I love about this fly is it's fast. Cast well, fast to tie. It uh, just all around good little fly. Big fly, I guess, is in terms of bugs. So that's what's exciting about these these cicadas is they are a big bug. So my wrap back spiral over, get to close to where I started out, right? And I like to just round that foam just a little bit. And usually I gotta work at this a little bit. But I'll tell you, the fish really don't care a whole lot. All right, we're gonna call that good. All right? Now I like to get about, I'm gonna say the hook length, you know, the, the bend, hanging over the back, right? All right, grab that down, wrap on. That's super tight, because you can cut this phone. Two, three, four, five, right? Underneath, I come forward about three-eighths of an inch, inch. Another couple wraps, one, two, three, four, five. Right, forward about three eighths of an inch. This is gonna be our big, uh, I'm gonna call it the fold over spot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's get our floss. I like to get a nice little heavy base of this. Um, cicadas are are, are, aren't real good in the water. So once they hit the water, there's not much chance that they're gonna come off again. So when you're fishing this fly, don't put a lot of action in it. So if you watch what I'm doing here, I'm actually, I cross it over on top. Our, our hair that we're gonna tie in, our wing, is gonna cover most of that all up. So about five on the front, right? Make sure I get that tied in good. Okay. That forms our body. So you can see on the bottom, we got a nice variant there. A little bit of a orange hint. All right, now comes our wing. So this is a deer hair that's been dyed. Um, orange and black it's not real high quality if you look closely you see all this like matted under fur it does not stack real well but i'm going to use it it you can get all kinds of orange right here's some more uh deer hair tail um a lot of the kits you'll see out there will have deer hair dyed in various colors a lot of streamers use use deer hair so Cutting off a chunk because of all of that under hair. Not much I'm gonna be able to use in each one of these these clumps. I got an old brush. I pull out the under hairs with that. All right. Into our hair stacker. Almost as long as the tail if I can now. This is a short stack, right? So loose wraps down. We're gonna put one more clump in. Loose wraps. This stuff towards the front, don't worry about it. We'll be able to do a rough trim off in a little bit with that. All right, so let me go for some longer hairs here. Get us a little bit more length. In our wing. 
and brush that out. Looks pretty good. Into our hair stacker. Take them out. So hey, I, I have mentioned it before on this channel. I have a class, a fly fishing class. Um, it's called How to Fly Fish. I'll try to put the link in the description and maybe run it across the bottom of the screen. All right, so we got our wing in, right? Now's the time we get to do a little bit of trimming up. I just come in roughly, like I was saying, you don't have to worry about this stuff too much. Just get some of those strays. Got the camera in the way, so it's hard to get in where I want there. All right, now it's time for our legs. Um, I pull about three inches off. The front legs will end up kind of flopping back on this one, which is good, that's fine. All right. One, two, three, four. And another three inches. If I have to trim these a little bit after I tie them in, easy to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, at this point, I like to put a little bit of UV. I've talked about it on the channel. I'll, I'll link this in the description. Got it off of Amazon. Um, this is the Thin Original Clear uh, UV glue. You know, and then it comes with a torch as well. Just a little bit of a dab on top. Let that soak in. All right. Hit it with the torch. It's interesting, sometimes you'll, you'll find something that just gl literally glows in this UV light. Okay. Let's get our thread back. Over here, right? Flop it over, right? Loose wrap, try to center it. Squeeze it down, kind of just making that nice head. This is where I was saying you don't have to worry about the length that you tie on. So I start with a big long piece of this 3 8 um, wide, 3 8 wide, and then uh, like I said, it's about an eighth of an inch thick. And then I just work it down, right? Come in, leave about a quarter inch. We're almost done. Like I said, me talking through this. Um, super fast tie to fly, or to fly to tie. Mm -hmm. Let's put a little bit of glue. All right, so go to that article, right? Um, I'll have that link. It has the whole setup, you know, how do you rig your rod up? How do you do, you know, your leader fly line? This is a, a lot like bass fishing, um, but trout go after these guys, right? So that is our fly. You see how we got that orange underneath, got those legs. Um, We'll move around nice. You can quickly, quickly tie up, you know, half a dozen of these guys. You're using heavy, heavy gear, so um, losing these uh, doesn't happen a whole lot unless you really hook into some trees and stuff. You can't get them out. So, hey, thanks. Stay tuned. I got more good stuff. I think I'm going to keep. Uh, 
cycling between some maybe some fly tying, some gear reviews. I'm, I'm noticing that people just don't, you know, they're reviewing gear, but they're they're not even touching it on YouTube. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get this stuff and get it in front of you. So get out and cast a rod. Thanks.